Let's see. Let's see uh, all the magic involved in that. See? Harry, you watching? Juggling. Now, what's, what's happening there is kind of like a Franklin bell. This is neutral. I got a Franklin bell here hooked up, and I'll, and I'll move this over. Uh, yeah, it's attracted because it's neutral, and then once it touches it, what happens? It, it's, the electrons move onto it, and it gets repelled. Yeah. Hey, get that corner here. Put it on this way. And then uh, zoom in on it. Right there where the bell's going down. Oops, I got my finger in there. So what's happening is this, the bells on the outside are picking up the static charge, and the bell in the middle is grounded. So the, the little ball gets attracted to the outside because it's neutral, picks up the negative charge, is repelled, hits the bell in the middle, loses the charge, then is attracted to this neutral guy, and then it repeats itself over and over and over again. That's because there's still static charge on here, and it's only being discharged as the ball goes back and forth. Only a little, get, little bit gets discharged back and forth. And that's what would happen is you have a lightning rod up in the sky, and you have a lot of static electricity from the clouds, right? And this would come in and on the bell, one side would be hooked up and the other side would be uh, grounded and the little ball would start to ring. So say you're in the old days, you don't have TV, you don't know the weather, you're trapped in the cellar, and all of a sudden, ding a ling a ling a ling a ling uh oh, there's a thunderstorm coming. I need to shut the windows or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so that's a Franklin bell. And that's how that works. That's not on your sheet. So now we're gonna look at this is uh, packing peanuts. And this, this right here we'll look at a little bit. This is supposed to act just like a Franklin bell. I put something uh, that's grounded on one side of it and this on the other side. And you see this whole attraction and repulsion thing going on. Okay, so if I move this over here, back on this table, and I ground this side, so this side's nice and grounded. And the ping pong ball is neutral. Right? The ping pong ball is neutral. And I put this right around there. What you'll have is the ping pong ball will be attracted to the globe. And then once it touches it, it will be repelled. But it'll touch this side. So now it's touching it and it's picking up the negative charge. And then once it gets enough negative charge on the ping pong ball, it'll uh, it'll repel the ping pong ball away. You see that? So now over here, it should theoretically, what should happen right here is it should this is grounded and there was a snap, the ping pong ball should lose its charge, but the static charge doesn't come off the ping pong ball so good. So now this side is, this is negative and it's attracted to the neutral uh, charge of the ground. It doesn't come back. But it's still repelled, if I move this away, you'll see it's still repelled by the... See how it's repelled away from there? And this is gonna bring us into an interesting concept we'll talk about on Monday called Coulomb's Law. Uh, gravity is pulling this ping pong ball down, right? And there's a uh, grab, uh, charge force, the electrical force, that's pushing this ping pong ball to the right. The closer I bring this charge to that one, well I just discharged some of it, but the closer I bring it or stronger the charge, the more it'll push it against to the side. And Coulomb uh, saw an inverse square law, uh, just like 
Sir Isaac Newton's inverse square universal gravitational law uh, with these ping pong ball down with ping pong balls. It was things similar. Okay? So we'll learn about that more on Monday, but that's the concept that we'll use is how far uh, this ping pong ball can be deflected even though gravity is trying to pull it straight down. Okay? All right? All right? All right. All right, so uh, these are our pecking peanuts. You guys ready for this? You got it, you got it zoomed in up here. You got, you got this area, a little bit more. Oh, get my, get my hands. You got, my I got hands. your hands. All right, okay. You ready? All right, what's going to happen, Christian Baker? Peanuts will fly away. They'll fly away. Fly away. Repelled by who? The negative. The negative charge. So this picks up a negative charge. And then the negative charge goes in these little peanuts, and these little peanuts are styrofoam, so they're so light and fluffy that the electromagnetic force is stronger than the gravitational force, and they actually fly like little, like little happy little flying animals. You ready? Did you say I'm lying? All right, happy birthday, Sam. Here's your parade. Here they go. So now you see this happening. I don't want to stay because there's elect there's an electric field here. And when I get too close to point out a demonstration, just like you saw with the pom-pom, it, it deflects itself. When I get too close, I disrupt that electric field. So what you have happening here is the ping pong ball is picking up this negative charge, and then it's being grounded when it comes all the way over here. There's a, a grounding area over here. Was that the goal? That's the goal? Yeah. 